Good morning. I'm Pastor Marianne Kellenbach from Living Faith Church. This morning it is Wednesday, March the 24th, and I welcome you to our fourth segment in um, the sermon about the man who was born blind. We are in John's Gospel, chapter 9. Uh, yesterday we left off with talking about what is sin, and in John's Gospel we talked about sin not being a moral category. It's not about the list of do's and don'ts, like you know, breaking the law on the Sabbath. Um, but that it is about having a relationship uh, with Jesus. And so we continue on now, um, hoping that you had some time to reflect uh, on this yesterday as far as, you know, what does your relationship look like with Jesus? So today we're going to start with, after the man who was born blind can see, he runs into his neighbors. And his neighbors and those who knew him can't believe it's the same man because he was born blind, he used to beg, and they really don't believe him when he says, I am that man. So they ask him the question, and we're going to start at, um, let's see, let's start at verse 10, after he just said, I am that man. But they kept asking him, now these are his neighbors, they kept asking him, then how were your eyes opened? And the man answered, the man called Jesus, made mud, spread it on my eyes, and said to me, go to Siloam and wash. Then I went and washed and received my sight. And they said to him, where is he? And the man said, I do not know. Think, think about that. I do not know. It's a uh, much more deeper, I do not know. This healing has taken place, and he's saying, I do not know. So they bring the man before the Pharisees. And um, that's what we heard all about it being, right, the, the day of the Sabbath. And we talk about on um, verse uh, 14, the Pharisees began to ask him how he received his sight. And the man said to them, he put mud on my eyes. Then I washed and now I see. Some of the Pharisees said, this man is not from God for he does not observe the Sabbath, right? We talked about that yesterday. So they said to, again to the blind man, what do you say about him? It was your eyes. He opened. And now the man says, he is a prophet. He went from saying, I do not know, to he is a prophet. Now, the leaders are furious and they call the parents and they want to find out, you know, from the parents what happened. This is your son. Yes. And they say, of course. Yes, he is my son. Yes, he was born blind. Um, we don't know how all of a sudden he can see. If you want to know how he can see, ask him. He's of age. You can ask him. He can speak for himself. And so for the second time, they call him. But now we know this is the third time he's getting ready to tell his story. So for the second time, they call a man who is born blind. And they said to him, give glory to God. We know that this man is a sinner. And the man who was born blind said, who can now see? I do not know. I do not know whether he is a sinner. One thing I do know, that though I was blind, now I see. And so they said to him, what did he do to you? He did open your eyes. How did he do it? And he answered them, I have told you already and you would not listen. Why do you want to hear it again? Do you also want to become his disciples? Do you also want to become his disciples? So now he's defining himself and identifying himself as a disciple. Remember, we talked about the fact that he was a disciple all along because he followed the instructions that Jesus gave him. And yet he had no idea that he was a disciple. But now all of a sudden he's identifying himself as a disciple. He went from, I do not know, to... He is a prophet to discipleship. He's calling himself a disciple. And it goes on from there. How is, here is an astonishing thing. You do not know where he comes from, and yet he opened my eyes. We know that God does not listen to sinners, but he does listen to one who worship him and obeys his will. Never, never since the world began has it been heard that anyone opened the eyes of a person born blind. If this man were not from God, he could do 
nothing. Now he understands that Jesus is the Son of God. What a progression. I do not know. He is a prophet. Do you want to be his disciple also? To he is a man of God. What was the turning point? For me, I think the turning point was that he kept telling his story. He kept on telling his story. And the more he told it, the more it began to sink in or sink in to him. And I think that's how it is with us. That the more we tell our story, the more that we understand what the things that God has done for us, I think it's then that we can begin to identify and start to go into a deeper relationship and trust with Jesus. You know, we start out with a, I do not know. And we move to, he's a prophet. And then we move deeper into, I'm a disciple. Do you want to be a disciple also? And then we move into, this man is from God. So I give you something to ponder today. Here is your question for today. What is your evolution of sight? We saw this man's evolution of sight, the man who was born blind, who then could see, but his evolution of sight in seeing who Jesus was, the Son of God standing before him, the Son of God who healed him. That was an evolutionary process for him. What is your evolutionary sight? What's your story? How did you move from the I don't know to he is a prophet to ultimately he is the son of God? And by the way, I will tell you that in this journey of trust and relationship, this journey of faith, we slip back and forth. We then go back into times where we're saying I don't know to he is a prophet to he is the son of God. That is so very, very normal. But I want you to think about what was your evolution of sight and who helped you get there? Blessings as you reflect on this question, and I'll see you tomorrow.